Yeah, Pedro and Cher, the CDC reporting 4,600 confirmed cases. And while there is a vaccine to prevent monkeypox, there are not enough doses here in the U.S. Now, in Long Beach, this says if you requested a vaccine and you're eligible, you'll be notified in the next 24 hours and you'll get an appointment scheduled. This, as scientists warn, that time is running out to contain the spread. In Encino today, people lining up to get the monkeypox vaccine. Federal health officials announcing close to 800,000 more doses are on the way, but it was too late for one Sacramento man who contracted the virus earlier this month. The worst pain that I ever experienced in my life. Similar to the flu, but once again, I will say three times more intense when it comes to the pain and the comfort. He experienced a high fever, aches, and the rash with lesions that are all hallmarks of the smallpox-like illness. Officials emphasize anyone can get monkeypox. But we also know, and it's important to, to recognize, that many folks that are getting monkeypox are sexually active gay men, and it's usually because of skin-to-skin -skin contact. The response currently focused on those at high risk. In Long Beach today, the mayor reporting a dozen cases of monkeypox in this city with 300 people vaccinated so far. Nearly 1,600 have signed up. Eligibility and availability extremely limited. We do not have enough vaccine. It is, it is uh, important for the federal government to get more vaccine out. What we don't need is another virus that is spreading rapidly. UCLA epidemiologist Dr. Anne Ramoyne is on a team of scientists advising the World Health Organization on monkeypox. Her message? We can get in front of this, but the window uh, is definitely closing. Tonight, a town hall in West Hollywood to increase awareness. Our John Fanolio hosting, talking about the importance. The WHO declared this an emergency just recently. And I've also been speaking with people who have suffered from and recovered from the virus. And I have to tell you, their stories are haunting. Um, sometimes we think that, oh, you know, we know it's happening, but it will never happen to me. But guess what? It does. So the Biden administration, they're revealing how much this response is going to cost the monkeypox. So what are they, what are we hearing at this point? Yeah, so according to reports, the Biden administration has privately told Congress they think they need about $7 billion to mount a proper response to the nation's monkeypox outbreak. So to improve and increase testing, those vaccine doses I talked about, and also treatment. Now, this is not a formal request to Congress. It came through a memo reported on by the Washington Post, but reportedly it could face opposition in the GOP, the money that is, because there are some that are uh, interested in repurposing funds, perhaps, but not authorizing new funds. So we'll see about that. But meantime, new at six, we will take you to that town hall in West Hollywood dealing with this very issue tonight. It starts in the next hour and we will have so much more for now. That's the latest live in Long Beach. I'll send it back to you.